Hello again, Mike Jones, Fire Chief and Emergency Manager for the City of Fredericksburg to give you your weekly COVID-19 update. Let's start off with the numbers. In the Rappahannock Area Health District, we're still above 12% positivity on the seven day moving average. And that's been that way for every day since the last week. We have 77 people in the hospital as of today, and that's in all three hospitals uh, throughout the uh, district. Uh, we have 1,124 new cases just in the last week, so the virus is prevalent in the community and it is starting to take its toll, especially on the unvaccinated. And that averages out to about 169 people per day or new cases per day. In Fredericksburg alone, the numbers as far as percent positivity, just a little bit lower at 10.5 percent. That pretty much mimics what's going on statewide as the statewide numbers as of this morning are 10.9 percent positivity on a seven day moving average. We had 129 new cases uh, in the last week and that averages to about 14 per day. So again, the virus is still out there. It is still prevalent. It is especially uh, dangerous for those that are unvaccinated and we are still considered in an area of high transmission throughout the Rappahannock region. Uh, so when we look at that, when we look at people in the hospital, uh, again, when you look at the statistics from Mary Washington Healthcare that they published last week, is definitely uh, the virus now with the Delta variant is definitely uh, taking its toll on those that are unvaccinated. When you look at Mary Washington Healthcare and the numbers that they have, uh, last week they had a total of 64 inpatients and 60 of those people were unvaccinated. When you look at severe illness uh, and people that uh, are in the hospital and have to be in ICU, they had a total of seven COVID patients in ICU and uh, six of those were unvaccinated. And then anybody that was on event, all of those were unvaccinated. So again, when you start looking at this uh, virus, it is especially uh, prevalent among those that are unvaccinated. Not saying you can't get it if you are vaccinated. We do have breakthrough cases, but uh, it's a good reason to get vaccinated. Uh, when we start looking about the vaccines just in Fredericksburg, again, we're slowly creeping up with a number of first shots. Uh, this past week, we're at 14,345 people over the age of 18 that have had their first dose. That's only up 124 from the previous week. So the number of people that are getting their first dose of the vaccine is very low. That's about 59.1 percent of the uh, adult population over the age of 18 in the city of city residents that has their at least one dose. Uh, total statewide, uh, we've uh, put out about 5.57 million people uh, have had their uh, first dose and uh, 4.94 are considered fully vaccinated. So 4.94 million that is. So again, we're getting a lot of doses out there, but we need to get some more out there. So let's talk a little bit about the vaccines. We won't go into real in depth with that, but a couple of more questions that might come up based off the myths that we talked about last week. Is it okay to get my COVID-19 vaccine along with other vaccines that I may need? And especially this time of year, we keep thinking about the flu vaccine. And yes, you can get more than one vaccine at a time. So you could get your first or second dose of the COVID vaccine along with your flu vaccine. So it doesn't hurt to get both vaccines at the same time if that's what you wanna do. And another question, if I've had COVID-19, do I still need to get vaccinated? Yes, if you've had COVID-19, you do have some natural immunity to COVID. There's no question about that. I think all the studies show that. But by getting the vaccine, at least one dose of it, and preferably both, it boosts the amount of immunity that you do have. So not only would you have that natural immunity, but you'd also have the additional immunity from the, the vaccine that you get, which is gonna protect you even better from COVID-19 because some people have gotten it twice. We know that for a fact as well. Those are the facts and those are the figures that we have for you. We'll talk again next week. Thank you.